Welcome to our fourth and last video on the Land Surveyor's Report. In this video, we're talking about all the different appendices which I like to include in my Boundary Retracement Surveyor's Report. So let's remind ourselves of the three stages of a Boundary Retracement Survey. Stage one is the record research. Stage two is the field work. Stage three, analysis and deliverable. In stage one, there are a lot of appendices. An appendix for the deeds, appendix for the easements, appendix for leases, appendix for any licenses, boundary line agreements, or other conveyances. But don't stop there. If you find other survey maps, survey plats, prior survey field notes, this is the meat of the appendix section. There's so much good stuff you find in retracing a boundary even before you go to the field. And all of those record documents should be appendices. This could be several hundred pages, especially if you're working in the public land survey system. Stage two, field work. When I go to the field, I wear a body cam sometimes. That video is a great appendix. When I go to the field and I find a survey monument, I take three pictures of the monument. One of the horizon, one at eye level, chest level, and then one right up uh, very close to the monument. So if I find 10 monuments, I'm gonna have 30 plus pictures. Other field appendices, survey data files, survey field notes, and other kinds of field-related data. This could be another couple hundred pages of appendices. Plus, if I'm going to laser scan or fly the property with my drone, throw in an aerial photo and the LIDAR data, uh, you know, LIDAR data walkthrough, fly through as another appendix. So, we're probably at anywhere from five to 15 appendices so far. Now, the last stage is the analysis. And I really work hard to make sure that I meet or exceed all surveying principles, properly apply those principles with the data. So not only do I include appendices of raw data, but I love throwing in references. References to the priority of calls, junior, senior rights, original versus retracement survey. These could be cases, textbook citations, continuing education presentations, and more. I don't put these as appendices. I put them as footnotes in stage three. So not only do you need to have an appendix or appendices for your report, but I really encourage you to have a table of citations, a table of figures, a table of authorities, a table of diagram. Now this can get out of hand a little bit, but I guarantee you it's worth it because if you've got a report that's getting large, it's going to be difficult to navigate. So you've got to make sure you've got a great title page, a bunch of tables, and anything else you need to educate your client about what you've done. And once you've built this template, it's much easier for the next report. It's a lot of work up front, but I guarantee you it's worth it.